Good morning. Welcome to the day in the life of a professional footballer. It's gonna be a day in the life today that I'm gonna be recording for you guys, you know, starting from the very early in the morning. It's eight in the morning right now. I'm gonna have some super light, basic Brazilian breakfast, which is just some bread and some coffee because we have a gym session to go to. If you've never tried this combination, by the way, you 100% should sneeze all day because it can't skin the allergies, but I love the cat so much, I can't stop snuggling with them, oh my God. The season's almost over. Things have not gone well at all. And I'm gonna walk you through what's been going on. I'm gonna be updating you guys on what's been going on. And yeah, I'm gonna take you through a day in the life as well. What I eat, how I train, and just the team environment in general here in Brazil. Okay guys, it's time to go. Let's get to training. What's up boys? We're here at training now. It's what, 8.30 and I'm the only one here. I'm the only one. This is the, this is the case only on this team, bro, in Brazil. It's ridiculous. No one in Brazil is punctual. That's something that you have to really get used to here. You know, the team we've been, we were in third, now we're in a relegation battle. That's how bad the season has been going, you know? And we just don't have any punctuality. There's no discipline whatsoever. I'm always the first one to get here. Today, I even got here a little bit late and I'm still the first one to get here, apart from the kit man who's always here. But yeah, we're gonna do a gym session today in the morning. We're already here at the complex and yeah, I'm gonna be explaining more of my situation, so please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys, and uh, yeah, let's get changed. So far, only me and one other guy, and now the coaching staff is here, but this is how it is all the time in Brazil. So that's, you know, something that you really have to get used to in the day of the life of a professional footballer in Brazil. Uh, quick update on my situation, by the way. Um, I still unavailable for games, so seasons. I, I've got some, I've gotten screwed over, unfortunately. That's just the reality. You know, my TMS didn't arrive in time, and I'm just really disappointed, really sad, really angry at the situation. But it's something out of my control. I can't control that. That's not something that I can, you know, really focus on. So I'm just trying to focus on staying disciplined, training no matter what. You know trying to earn my spot even though technically there is no spot for me to earn because I can't play and you know just trying to finish the season off in the best way that I can and find my next opportunity my next opportunity you know I've gotten stuff in some other places in Brazil hopefully uh, I've, I actually had a very important person message me on Instagram um, about a potential opportunity at Alcabila so for all of you so hail our fans, for all of you that are interested in Alphabila, they've gotten in contact, which is definitely a really, really good thing. It's a really, po it's a positive, you know, so I'm really hoping that works out. It wasn't Sohail that got in touch with me, by the way, it was someone else, a very important person within that sphere of the United Arab Emirates, but he wants to take me to Alphabila. And uh, yeah. I have a couple of other opportunities, Sweden, Portugal, but right now everything's just talks and I'm just trying to focus on finishing the season strong. But yeah, follow along, subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through the gym session with me.
part one done. Time for part two. Session's done. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm really struggling mentally. It's been really, really tough. And... I don't know. I don't know what to say to you guys. I really don't. I wish I knew. But I'm just not enjoying my football. I'm not enjoying the atmosphere. Yeah, so... gonna go home you know try to solve some things get some lunch I don't know figure out life and uh, yeah this is uh, me unfiltered it's a day in the life unfiltered so yeah hey guys hope you're doing well uh, just for some clarification this is being recorded the next day because we actually didn't have team training yesterday and I wanted to show you guys what team training looks like. I didn't record the rest of the day yesterday because I was having a really tough day mentally and I decided to take a little bit of a break from recording. I decided that, you know, I needed to uh, kind of, you know, wind down, step away from the cameras for a bit. You know, there's a lot going on, you know, in terms of not just opportunities, you know, but also just, you know, I might be going home for a bit, you know, to spend some time with my family. I haven't seen them in quite a long time and I'm trying to organize that. And it's just been tough, you know, trying to internalize and try to understand that everything that's happened this season, it's been difficult. And sometimes as a footballer, you just need to step away from everything and you just need to wind down. And that's just the reality. Yeah. And, uh, I just, I should have maybe recorded, but I didn't feel like it, but I'm going to continue the recording today in the day of the life. You know, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to have for lunch now, right before I head off to training and I'm going to try to get some team training footage. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I don't know how tense the environment's going to be considering everything, but you know, yesterday training, you know, and recording at the gym was fine. So hopefully, you know, I'll be able to get some decent footage. And yeah, um, apologies, you know, for apologies for that. But I wanted to make sure that I was as transparent as possible because as you guys know, the goal of this channel is to be as honest as possible about the journey and about being a professional footballer and the realities of it. So yeah, I just thought for full disclosure, I'd be fairly honest. We've got beans here in the pressure cooker making some chicken as well that I'm gonna make in the air fryer and it's gonna be pretty good. So that's gonna be lunch for today before I head off to training. Super duper simple lunch, just some chicken and some black beans, you know, simple, but very effective. Complex carbs, simple carbs as well, good source of protein, vitamins, everything you need really. Gives you a lot of energy before training. So let's yam this. 
Uhum. Pode falar. Era a reunião com os desenvolvedores. Yes, I have changed clothes yet again. But it's raining outside, so I need some sort of a sweater or something with a hood so that I don't get too wet because I always take a motorcycle like a like a um, an Uber motorcycle to get to training and it's raining pretty hard outside, so I had to get changed. Gotta represent Megadeth, best band in the world. Comment if you guys are a fan of metal or if you guys are Megadeth fans. Any Megadeth fans in the chat or in the comment section, please let me know down below. Let me know what kind of music you guys like. Don't believe me that it's raining outside? <laughs> there you go, that's proof. And now we wait for the motorcycle to get here. Time for training. Possession, if you get five passes, you can score. And then we did some small sided games. The small sided games were just, you know, three touches and you can score. Everybody has to pass from the halfway line, otherwise, the goal doesn't count. And there are neutrals on the outside of the pitch. Sorry, I couldn't get any footage of that, but I was already, you know, we were already running a little bit late collectively. So that was really the point of that. But, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, maybe I'll record some of dinner and when I go to bed. But yeah, this is essentially just been the day in the life of a footballer. And uh, sorry about my voice. My voice is kind of messed up because of the allergies. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, training session and you know everything that I've shown. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Yeah, Edie. Hello, guys. What's up, right, guys? There we I'm go. I'm here. I'm here with my brother, Midi. You know, you know who he is? This yeah. guy, he played in Portugal, man. I, I speak Portugal, I speak English, I speak French, I speak German. You say something in German? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I am, I am, I am also. What's up, guys? Training is complete. I'm all changed. Gonna do some shopping now. Valeu. Valeu! Some of the guys leaving training. I don't know if you can see in the background. Let me see if I can zoom in. I can't zoom in. But uh, that over there is the amateur team, like the city's amateur team. And they train right after us now. They're about to start their amateur season. Our pro season is about to end. Some of our guys that weren't getting minutes were actually, they actually rescinded their contracts and they're training there right now. So uh, in the amateur leagues here, they actually make money. You know, you get like four or 500, with some players you get like four or 500 uh, reais, which is like a hundred bucks, a hundred USD per game, which to them is pretty good. You know, four games, five games a month, you know, it's not full time by any means but it's still decent, you know, especially for amateur football. And it's supposed to be a pretty decent level. I got invited to do it. I said no, respectfully, because that's just not what I want for my career. I uh, am home from training, as you guys can see. And I just had a piece of chicken just because it was the last piece. And I'm having some bread now, you know. I'm gonna have proper dinner after I have my training session. I'm not training, I'm giving training session to some of the kids here at the condo. It's like a side hustle, if you will. So uh, yeah, I do that with my spare time. And then I will, uh, I won't record that obviously for the sake of privacy, but yeah, that's essentially my day. I'll be showing you my real dinner once I am back. Hey guys, pardon the mess in the background. I, I've uh, not really organized the house, but uh, it's dinner time. Got some rice, beans, and a little bit of stew. Beans technically a stew too, but like, whatever. Proteins, 
Simple, complex carbs, vitamins. Like I said last time at lunch, you know, it's the same thing. But uh, yeah, this time I added rice because having just beans is a little bit weird. <laughs> it's strange, especially for a Brazilian. So I was like, I gotta make some rice. So I just made some rice real quick and uh, yeah. Now it is, once again, time to yam. So, cheers. I'm gonna talk a little bit as I eat. But uh, yeah, training went pretty decent today. You know, the environment, despite the fact that things were tense, you know, things are starting to ease down because, you know, the season's ending. So, you know, we're just trying to finish on a high note, as high of a note as possible. Yeah, I did really well in training today. You know, small-sided, I'm the king. So, scored a lot of goals, got some assists too. We took out water, by the way. Yeah, a footballer's day in the life is typically just like this. Every now and then there'll be some media that you have to do. A lot of times my media is just like recording on my YouTube channel, on my TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that. A lot of it is just, you know, eating right, training right, recovering right. That's what you do when you're a professional footballer. You have a lot of time on your hands so you can do some side hustles if you'd like, you know, focus on other things. As a matter of fact, I would recommend that anybody that's trying to pursue this sport should have something else on the side to distract them from the everyday hustle and bustle of being a professional footballer because you get really sucked into that world and it can take a toll on your mental health so it's always good to have something else on the side to take you away from that whether that's a different hobby whether that's being with your family whether that's you know, talking with your friends, you know, something that won't be a detriment to your career, but something that, you know, you can have on the side. For me, it's been cooking, it's been my YouTube channel and my social media, TikTok, stuff like that. And it's been, you know, spending time with the cats, spending time with Kawana. That's been super, super helpful for me, you know, Kawana's family as well. Those are things that really help me with my mental health whenever I'm down, so. I'm super, super humbled, super, super grateful for that, to be completely honest with you. Super, super humbled for that. And a lot of my free time as well, talking to agents, talking to coaches, talking to directors, building new connections because the business side of football nowadays is so important, just as important or more than performing on the pitch because if you can build good connections in your career, you can go anywhere, trust me. That's how things happen, especially nowadays You've got LinkedIn, you've got social media, all sorts of things, all sorts of tools, all sorts of avenues where you can build new connections and build new opportunities. Look at the little cages. Hello. I want this puleta and that's Kiko. So cute. I love them. It is now officially time for me to wind down, to relax, you know, to get ready mentally for the next day, for the next training day. And yeah, you know, I'm gonna go to bed in around 30 minutes to an hour. And you know, I'm gonna end the video here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a lot. I don't know what's wrong with you if you haven't subscribed yet. Genuinely, there's no hope for you. But if you subscribe, then you know, we'll be cool. Let me know if you have any questions or any doubts. If you guys are interested in your career consulting, let me know, hit me up on Instagram because I'm doing that now as well. If you're not subscribed, do it. Do it, do it. Trust me, it's good for you. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. <laughs> Peace.